Salutations, people of technology, and welcome to Space Swamp, Part 2, The Reckoning. Since we last visited Space Swamp, a few things have changed. I've gone ahead and added a base coat of brown and green. The green represents water, and the brown represents land. In order to get the look I want for my Space Swamp, I'm going to start using tints to pull out all the detail that I'm hoping to get. And here are the tints that I used to pull this off. This product might be a little hard to find right now due to supply chain issues, but it's called Caltent and it's made by a company called Chromaflow Technologies. This is the material that they use when they mix your house paint at the hardware store. This product comes in approximately 17 different colors. The colors I'll be using will be raw umber, yellow oxide, and phthalo green. And as this shot reveals, you may notice that I've already gone ahead and started with my phthalo green. A word of note about tint, once it becomes wet, uh, even after you put it down, it will reactivate. So if you use a different color tint on top of another tint, it's either a good idea to seal the first tint or to go ahead and let them mix together if that's what you're trying to do. And in this case, I'm going to let it mix together a little bit. I will be using a few different colors and I want them to kind of blend together. So here I am applying the yellow oxide onto all the land mass areas. Eventually I'll put another tint on top of this one, uh, another brown uh, or burnt umber actually in order to tone down some of the yellow but I wanted there to be yellow so that there was a differentiation between the reds in the swamp uh, and the yellow uh, making it you know much more appealing to the eye it's giving a sense of beautification to the wonder that is the space swamp and and when it's when your eye is drawn to it you're just sent to a ethereal plane of wonder that just fills your heart with joy and love and and the festive feeling that i can accomplish anything <laughs> sorry about that i get a little carried away when it comes to art so here i am applying the burnt umber to the ridges of the insides of my lily pad like land structures out in my swamp and then I'll go through and use a spray bottle filled with water to get the material to spread out a bit more. I'm not too careful but uh, you do want to wind up uh, soaking some of this stuff up with a rag eventually. Uh, like I said, this will reactivate, so keep that in mind as you're mixing this. And then I come right back in with a terry cloth rag and soak up my excess, trying not to mix too much of it around or swirl it around. You notice that I'm patting it instead. Um, and then on the insides, I'm not soaking up as much, but I am trying to make sure that it does spread around. I don't mind if it gets inside the the water areas because this will just add more depth to the water once I start adding the silicone on top. And finally we let it sit for the next 12 hours to dry thoroughly. Hey there. Why don't you take this moment to subscribe and like my channel so that maybe we can get together a little more often. You know, get to know each other. You know. You know. In reality, it's been 48 hours, and I've done quite a bit more than just let it dry. I've gone ahead and airbrushed the entire water surface 
or at least the edges of it to give it a little more depth so that uh, it's lighter towards the edge of the lily pad. And the other thing I've done is I've added a layer of dead flat varnish. Uh, this was a little tricky to put on because I used a roller to do it and like I said that the tint reactivates. Well, it happened with this, with this dead flat varnish, but I managed to get through it quickly enough that I didn't have any problems. All in all, I'd say it's starting to come together. I'm doing a little test fit here with the monolithic structure and the staircase. Did a little work on that. I'm pretty pleased with the way the mat itself has turned out. Um, and uh, I did a little more of the, the mat but this whole structure covers a big chunk of it, but why waste the space, right? And that wraps up this episode. In the next episode, we'll go over the grass tufts and the, the landscaping that I'm going to do, including how I'm going to apply the silicone. Uh, and I'm also going to touch a little bit on uh, parchment paper, your friend or your enemy. You'll find out in the next episode of... Space Swamp 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 Alright. Alright. Good luck. Don't get lost. Don't drown. Don't die. Goodbye.